great to have you again back on our channel. My name is Amara. And my name is Gospel. Today, we want to talk about something that I think a lot of our viewers will find value from. And it's... You, you can, can love, love again. again. Yes, you can love again. Have you been heartbroken? Have you experienced guilt? Have you experienced disappointment in your former relationship? This is for you. We believe you can love again. Yes, a lot of people go through varied relationship breakdown at some point in their life. Mm -hmm. They've experienced this and it, it either make them or break them. Mm -hmm. Now, unfortunately, some individuals have suffered a heartbreak in a number of ways mm -hmm. and they have allowed their experiences to define them. They have allowed their experiences to stifle, to inhibit their ability to love again. Mm -hmm. Have you had heartbreak before? Um, <laughs> you're putting me on the spot now. Yes, I think I have. I have, <laughs> but the lessons we learn from those experiences are the key things we are talking about today. Like you are saying, you know, such experience, if you've gone through heartbreak, it could ac actually break someone, make the person lose the ab ability or the opportunity to maximize other potential relationships. True. And for some people, it has gotten them to a place of um, inhibition. Mm. They're not making any movement, mm. especially in terms of relationship. That's true. Yeah. Some other people, on the other hand, they go through these whole challenges of relationship breakdown. And basically what they've done is that they've taken this as a learning curve mm. and they've seen it as a process at which they have to learn some vital life lessons and mm. to move on. Mm. So basically what they have done is that they've taken these experiences, they've sharpened their relational skills and they have moved on like nothing ever happened. One of the key elements that make a difference on how people handle emotional distress of heartbreak or how people move on or get stuck when they are experiencing heartbreak is mindset yeah and there are two types of mindset we want to talk about today there absolutely is fixed mindset and there is growth, growth mindset. mindset let's talk about a fixed mindset basically what that means is that you're static mm. you're stuck mm. you're just there as if oh i cannot do anything about this mm. because my relationship has broken down. I cannot move on. You know, this means that the success of my life or the failure in my life, you know, contributes to the fact that this relationship isn't moving on. So I have to just wait until the relationship resolve itself. No, the relationship is not going to resolve itself. Yeah. And basically, if you've got a fixed mindset, it will be difficult for you to move past a broken relationship. This means that if someone jilts you, if someone rejects you, if someone disappoints you, you're stuck on that experience. There is nothing you can do about it because in your mind, it's fixed. Yes, not just that it's fixed. A lot of people attribute the failure mm. of their relationship to mean that they have failed. Mm. So it's a me problem. Mm. I, I, I know that there are a lot of factors that can contribute to a relationship breakdown. Mm -hmm. But if you've got a fixed mindset in the sense that my relationship isn't moving on or my relationship is broken down because of me, mm. then that's likely to be a problem because you are not learning the lesson that yeah. you know life is presenting before you. And then you will not be able to navigate that difficult spot, that difficult circumstance, that difficult challenge. Mm. The flip side of this also is that they don't blame themselves. The fixed mindset blames everyone else. Oh, yes. It's, it's his fault, it's her fault that I'm stuck. It's his fault, it's her stuck that... It's his fault, it's her fault that I'm shattered. And there is nothing I can do about it. The fact is that there is always something to be done about a challenging situation. It all depends on the mindset. There are a number of things to highlight here, especially with some people with a fixed mindset in a relationship. People with this sort of mindset do not believe in growth and learning through life experiences. Things happen in life. Stuff, are, you know, challenges are being thrown at you, but it's all about gleaning the value, gleaning the lessons from these life challenges yeah. and moving on from those. Some people with this mindset believe that the action of one gender 
represents the action of all gender. Mm. That's why you see things like, for instance, if you're in a relationship with a lady and she cheats on you, you decide that all ladies are cheats. Yeah, they cheat. Or all men are yeah. cheats. Or you flip side them out. Yeah, yeah, you think. Or they are not. All, all men are dishonest. Yes. You know. So yeah. you generalize it because yeah. of your experience with that one individual. Yeah. The other thing is that they draw values of and self-worth from failed relationship. Your value and your self-worth is not tied to any failed relationship. Mm -hmm. Relationship fail. Like I said before, there are a number of factors why that relationship may have failed, some of which might be your fault, might be other people's mm -hmm. fault, but the fact is your self-worth should not be defined by your failed relationship. The other point is that they also allow the person who do tell them or their life to revolve around the person who broke their hearts. They want to know what is he doing now? What's happening in his life now? Um, Constantly they, check in. Yes, check in because <laughs> they, and sometimes they, mm. they wish things would go back to how it used to be. Yes. That person has moved on and you're still stuck. You're thinking maybe he would come back to me. Mm. He or she will come back to me again. You're checking, you're trying to, you know, impress. Sometimes you go on social media to show that your life is beautiful. Yeah. Only to attract that person or to impress that person. No, it's not true. If that person has moved on. Move on. You have to find a way yeah. to move on. It's difficult. This is it's a hard pill to swallow. But the fact is, life is progressive. So you have to move on with your life and make the best out of the moment that you live in. In some cases, this could lead to bitterness, mm. hatred, frustration. In fact, sometimes even wishing that that person who left would come back. It's not always the case. It's just a wish. The truth is that you have to deal with mm. the bitterness that, you know, that have come as a result of that failed relationship, the hatred that have come as a result of that failed relationship and move on from it because if you're still dwelling on that particular thing then you've got a fixed mindset and it's time to move on now if you're thinking about how to get some scores against the person who cheated you you're thinking about revenge mm. you're thinking about how to deal with him or her mm. believe me you have a fixed mindset mm. Mm -hmm. you have to let go and move on and this is where you hear a lot of comments saying ah, I wish he can pay for all that he did to me. Mm. I wish she can pay for all that she did to me. Now, in your mind, you are anticipating that they will have a failed relationship. Mm -hmm. They will have a failed marriage mm -hmm. so that you feel a sense of, yes, I said it. I said it. He's failing. She's failing. The fact is the satisfaction is always short lived. Mm. You have to move on from there and make something beautiful out of your life. To add to that, it doesn't always happen the way we wish. Sometimes you see these people succeed in their relationship and in their life and you feel bad with yourself. That's true. But the point is you can move away from fixed mindset to a growth mindset. Mm. That is why we are sharing this with you. Now let's talk about the growth mindset. Growth mindset, they embrace challenges. In fact, they thrive on challenges and see failures not as an opportunity for self-blame or even to blame others but they see it as a springboard for growth and for stretching the existing abilities so this is what we are on about you have to move on from a fixed mindset to a growth mindset someone with a growth mindset believes that his or her intelligence his or her character his or her competence is progressive. That's true. It's not fixed. It's something he can work on. They believe that change is constant. Mm. So as long as you live and you make effort to develop yourself and to learn from life experiences, you will definitely become better and better. Someone with a growth mindset, basically what that person does is they take a rain check, inward assessment, a reflection on how, what's my role? How have I contributed to this failed relationship, to this broken relationship? And they try to reflect on their position and what they have done to enable that relationship, you know, go in the direction it went. Someone with a grown mindset also 
highlight the lessons to be learned from the experience and they think about what they would do differently if given similar opportunity. Someone else with a growth mindset again would say there's more to life. It's fantastic to have a, a loving relationship. But if I don't have a loving relationship, is that all there is to life? There is more. I live for something more. I can do more. And they see life from a more wider, from a more bigger perspective, rather than just looking at the fact that my life is bad. My, my world is sad because I have a failed relationship. So they seek out a purpose that is bigger than them. They look forward to the future knowing that the best is yet to come. The best relationship is yet to come. The best person is yet to come. So they don't get stuck in where they are. They move on. Having a positive perspective to life. Knowing that, you know, you, you miss that opportunity. There is always more opportunities for better relationship ahead. They also realize that, look, my relationship does not define me. I, my, oh, I don't even know how to break down this, right? Your relationship does not define you. And I think somebody out there needs to hear this because a lot of people say, oh, they draw a lot of value from their relationship. It's okay to have that, but it's not the end of the world. It is, what are you? Who are you? What has God made you to be? That is what really should define you and not the relationship. And someone with a growth mindset, which we believe you have to become, finds whatever happened in the past as a closed door, a closed system. That's in the past. And they look towards the future with positive mindset to love and love and love again. <laughs> someone with a growth mindset will not shield the pain of the previous relationship. But you know what they do? They actually suffer the pain with the right attitude. They say, you know what? There are lessons to be learned from this failed relationship. And then they move on from there. One other point I want to state about growth mindset is that such people do not categorize the opposite sex based on their narrow-minded experience. They look at it from a broader perspective that if someone jilted me, that doesn't mean every other person will if someone disappointed or betrayed me, it doesn't mean the rest of the people are the same. All men are not cheats. All women do not disappoint. Another thing about someone with a growth mindset, they refuse to empower the offender through negative emotions. You're angry, revenge, bitterness. No, you have to own it. Do not relinquish power to the offender by you know being angry yeah you can be angry for a short period but it shouldn't be long-lived mm. people with growth mindset recognize that emotional healing may not be automatic in fact it's not automatic it is progressive so what do they do they take it on do whatever they can to get healed they read books talk to people meet with counselors whatever they can to get here because they don't want their emotional experience to fester in their new relationship because when they don't get healed that could impact their ability to love again. again in summary what we are saying is that do not let what has happened to you define you look inwardly and ask yourself what are the opportunities that are there for me to be a better person mm. and to move on past these experiences? Develop a growth mindset. You know, all men and women are not the same. And do not allow your previous experiences to define your future. Even if you're married and you're disappointed within the context of your marriage and you're thinking, this woman is bad. This man is my problem. Please, you can also develop a growth mindset. Even if you've been disappointed, you've gone through divorce and you're stuck in it, no way. You can grow. You can become better. You can look at life from a positive point of view and love again. Don't let your past get you in a fix. You can love again. We have experienced heartbreak many years ago as singles, <laughs> but look at us today. 
We loved again and we are loving and loving again. You too can love, love again. again. Yes, that's true. Now, if you're new to our channel, please do not forget, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you know when we put content out. Now you've watched this video right up to this point. Are there ways that you think that someone who have gone through a heartbreak can develop a growth mindset? Maybe we haven't quite captured everything. Please could you share in the comment section below and let us know. It's always a joy to have you all join us. And until the next episode, it's goodbye from us. Bye.